Hello everyone, I'm Carla, ambassador in Mexico for Keiko, the untold story of the star of Free Willy. I would like to dedicate this video to Mark, who changed Keiko's life forever. And I would like to dedicate this video to Teresa too, because if it wasn't for her film, we wouldn't know what happened to Keiko, especially us Mexicans. I was a nine-year kid, a nine-year-old, when I went to see Keiko for the first time in Reino Aventura. I remember thinking to myself, wow, I really need to do this when I grow up. I really want to train dolphins and orcas. And when the trainer just kept on swimming on top of Keiko from one side to the other in this small pool, I was, wow, you know? And then Keiko, he just jumped and splashed everyone. I was so excited. But then the trainer said to us all, who wants to give Keiko his fish? And I would jump out of my seat and scream like it was no tomorrow. I want to give Keiko his fish. And the trainer, she didn't pick me. So it was, what a drama. Oh my God, the drama, the drama. Oh, she didn't pick me. I wanted to give Keiko his fish. So I said to my mom, you know what, mom? I'm going to be a trainer when I grew up. I want to train dolphins and orcas. But then I grew up and then I went back to see Keiko and this time I didn't like what I saw. I saw this huge orca in this tiny, tiny pool with his fin all flapped to the side and kind of funny looking skin. So I asked my mom, mom, what's going on with Keiko? And she said, I don't know, I'm not an orca expert. And I'm like, hmm, I'm not liking this. So then I went back on the third time that was it for me. That was it. I was like, no, 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 this is all wrong. What's going on with these people? What's going on with Keiko? He, I could see he was all lethargic. So I became a scuba diver years later and I started to learn by myself. I bought many encyclopedias to know about wildlife in the ocean. And I learned that orcas actually have quite the uh, family structure. There's the mom, there's the dad, there's the auntie and the uncle and the cousins and the baby. So I was like, why would I separate this pod? Who am I? So I decided to become a wildlife filmmaker. I had the chance to work for Animal Planet in Africa and apart from learning how to film lions and elephants, which is another story, I learned the biggest lesson ever, which is live the wild in the wild. Do not grab a lion and take it to a zoo. Do not grab a tiger and take it to a zoo. Do not grab a dolphin and take it to an aquarium where it can swim happily with human beings. No! So I had the... I don't know if it's luck because I don't believe in luck. I think it was... It was supposed to be. I found out about Keiko, the untold story of the star of Free Willy, and I contacted them. I sent an email to Teresa and I said, Teresa, I'm Carla, I'm a Mexican, I knew Keiko, I saw Keiko three times. On the first one, I wanted to become a, a trainer. On the second one, I was a bit, uh, maybe, uh, nah. And on the third one, I was like, oh my God, this is it. I'm not doing this. So three years later, uh, Teresa and I have been working on my charge as ambassador for Keiko. We've been taking the film to schools in Mexico so that kids can learn what's behind the industry of orcas and dolphins in captivity. So Mark, my message to you, and I should have said to you many, many times, I know I, I told you in about two or three emails, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark, because you gave Keiko the only opportunity in his lifetime to go back to the wild. Thank you, Mark, for putting so much effort on it. Thank you, Mark. Oh, I got the goosebumps. Thank you, Mark, because Keiko his last breath was in the ocean.
Keiko's last breath wasn't on a pool. So Mark, wherever you are, I thank you and I commit myself and I promise you that your mission is not over. I'm going to be sure and I'm going to make sure that the word gets out there, that kids in Mexico and kids in Latin America, kids all over the world know about Keiko and how fantastic he was, how nice he lived out there, how he hunt, how he tried to see, uh, well, to get a little bit of uh, girl attention, how he swam from Ireland all the way to Norway with no one telling him to do so. So Mark, Teresa, both of you, both of you deserve all my love and gratitude because as a Mexican girl that saw Keiko three times, I cannot tell you how happy I am that you made this film and that you want to educate people about marine life in captivity. So, if you want me to come to your school, please email us. You, you know how to contact us. And if you want us there, we'll be there. We'll do our best to be at your school so all of us can make this a better place. Thank you all. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Mark, wherever you are. And I will cherish you in my heart. And I promise you, and I once again, I give you my word, I will help every single orca in captivity out there. So thank you all for following us, and thank you all who believe that life belongs in the wild. Thank you guys. Bye.